Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Little Wolf Podcast. Today I wanted to talk to you about the cost of animation. And the reason for this is because recently, since launching Little Wolf the Night Trail, I've gotten a lot of interest from people who are... They wanted to hire me, basically. They wanted to hire me to animate on one of their projects, which is very cool, which is very fun. But in a lot of circumstances, they were not aware of the cost of animation and how expensive it can be. And so basically, that's what we're going to talk about today. Animation is expensive. And we're going to go over how you can actually calculate how much a project is going to cost. It's actually kind of fun. It's going to be interesting. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So if you want to calculate the cost of animation, you're going to need four variables. Runtime, production timeline, quota, and salary. And let's go ahead and break each of those down right now. The runtime is, of course, how long is your animation? Is it five minutes? Is it half an hour? Are we talking multiple episodes? Are we talking a series? Once you know exactly how much time you need animated, then you'll be able to begin calculating cost. Okay, production timeline. How long are you giving the animator or team of animators to animate your work? This is going to matter because, because this stuff doesn't create itself. People need time to animate. And we'll, we'll break this down in a little bit. Quota. This is the big one. This is what determines the quality of the animation that you get. So basically, when you're working in the industry, typically most animation companies have a frame quota or just a time quota. Basically, what it is is how much does an animator animate every week? Um, and this varies from production to production. For a big, giant production like a movie, like a Disney Pixar type thing, they'll typically have a have to animate around five seconds per week. Think about it. That's not a that's not a lot. That's like five seconds, but it's beautiful animation. And again, it often involves crowds and all sorts of crazy stuff like that. So keep that in mind. With television, you'll typically have a quota of around 20 to 30 seconds per week. Uh, the more time you give them, the better the quality of the, the animation, right? So if they have to do something ridiculous like 60 seconds per week, which some people do, then you get what you pay for, which is to say that it's going to be shoddy, that it's not going to be really good uh, uh, animation. So, and again, I don't know, I don't, <laughs> that's, th that's the limit. I'd say 60 seconds per week is, you know, that's, that's as far as you can go without going just completely, you know, just basic uh, with your, with your work. But again, like I said, you get what you pay for, you know, 60 seconds per week is not going to be great. But, um, so anyways, yeah, there you go. Five, five seconds per week, 20 to 30 seconds per week, or 60 seconds per week, if you're a real taskmaster. And lastly, salary. This may come as a shock to some people, but animators need to eat too. And they would love to animate all day, but they kind of need to pay their bills, that sort of stuff. So you need to give them a decent wage, a living wage. And of course, that's going to vary depending on where you live. So what's a decent wage uh, where you live? But now that we have those four variables in place, now we can start creating a fantasy scenario where we can actually calculate the cost of an animation. So let's create one. Uh, let's say that we wanted to do uh, a television series. Let's say 12 episodes in the series. And let's say that the runtime would be 24 minutes per episode. And the production timeline, we would give them one year. The animators would get one year to animate the, the season. Let's go ahead and break that down into weeks because that makes it easier to, uh, to calculate for. Uh, let's give them 52 weeks, which is a year, to complete the animation. For the quota, let's go ahead and uh, go on, on sort of the average. Let's go ahead and give them, let's give each animator 30 seconds per week to animate the, uh, to animate the series. And lastly, because we actually want these people to live, that sort of stuff, let's go ahead and give the animators a living wage of $50,000 per year. And this actually works out really well for us because we've given them a one-year production timeline. So each animator is going to be paid $50,000. So, now we can start breaking things down. Uh, let's find the total number of seconds we need animated. This is just simple multiplication. If we multiply the number of episodes by their runtime, then we can get that figure. So, we said a 12-episode series and 24 minutes per episode. 12 times 24, that's 288 minutes. 
Uh, let's convert those minutes to seconds so that we can compare that to our animation quota. There are 60 seconds in a minute, and we have 288 minutes that we need animated. So 288 times 60 equals 17,280 seconds of animation. That's a lot of seconds. <laughs> so how long will it take our animator to animate 17,280 seconds? Well, that's where our quota kicks in. Uh, remember we gave our animators a quota of 30 seconds per week? Well, assuming our animator has that, let's go ahead and divide 17,280 seconds by 30, and we get 576. That's 576 weeks that it will take to animate uh, your, your work. That's a lot of weeks. That's more weeks than we have in a year. Let's see, there's 52 weeks in a year, so let's divide again. Let's divide 576 by 52, and we'll get... 11.07692, it, it would take 11 years. It would take 11 years to animate your series if you had one animator animating with a quota of uh, 30 seconds per week. That's untenable. That's, uh, that's not feasible right there. But I have an idea. Instead of giving one animator 11 years to animate a series, let's give 11 animators one year to animate the series. Aha! Now we know how many animators we need, and we know how much it will cost to animate the series. Take your yearly salary and then multiply it by the number of animators. 11 times 50,000 equals $550,000. There, we figured it out. We figured out how much it would take to animate a series of 12 episodes running 24 minutes with a one-year production timeline and a, an animation quota of 30 seconds, with a salary of $50,000 a year. Put another way, an animator earning $50,000 a year with a quota of 30 seconds per week would expect a ballpark figure of around $2,000 per minute of animation. <laughs> Pretty expensive, right? But again, like I said, animation is expensive. And this is something that you can uh, try on your own. I would actually say try changing these variables up. Try changing up the quota. Try changing up uh, the runtime of the series that you want to do. Uh, try changing up the salary. And you'll come up with all these varying results. But bottom line is, animation is expensive. And here's the kicker. This doesn't even include things like character design, storyboarding, voice acting, or even the, the cost of the software. You know, this is just for the cost of the service of the animation. You know, it doesn't include uh, character design, doesn't include modeling, doesn't include rigging, doesn't include any of those sorts of things. So those are all separate items that need their own calculation in order for you to figure out how much those will cost. That's pretty much what I've got for you this week. Uh, if you're curious about what I'm working on in the background here, uh, it's set design, and I'll talk about that next week on the Little Wolf Podcast. Thanks. Have a good one.